Welcome back to the program. You're, you're watching Sports Business on Plus TV Africa with Orufo Ezaga. With me in the studio is Mr. Babs Ogunwade. He's the Vice President of um, the Nigerian Basketball Federation. We're, we've been talking about how to make basketball um, big business in Nigeria. And we're, we've been looking at how to make the local scene, you know, uh, become a big, to, to, to drive the business as, the, as is the case in most countries around the world. And you are talking about how um, most of the clubs are owned by state governments and, um, you know, there's very little coming in, the, in, in terms of sponsorship and, and broadcast deals and all of that. But, you see, football had the same problem. And then some company, um, I think an investment banking company called GTI Asset Management and Trust mm -hmm. Limited, saw the potential of football. And they stuck their necks out and say, said to you know, invest in, in the league. And these guys have spent nine figures trying to get this league to move forward. It, looks, it might be that they're achieving some results, but it's been a very difficult um, path. And we don't know that for sure, whether they're, they're getting the, the, the results that they need, the, the returns on the investment. But they're there, they're still there. The league for two seasons has run smoothly, you know, uh, as smoothly as we can say of the MPFL in recent years. Is it something perhaps that you guys are considering? Do, do you want to, does, does the M, you, you talked about policy, you talked about having maybe like a, a, a business document. Who, whose responsibility is, is it to go and, and sell the potential of basketball to business Nigeria so, such that you get the funding you need to probably then come up with something that's, that sounds like a, a sustainable business model? Um, let me say this. Um, football, like, like I said, is, and I, I have to concede here, king of sports. So the people who have... Yeah. In the world, actually. So the people who have um, invested, they probably saw ahead of what you and I mm. know. Mm. I mean, they, they, they saw I mean, what you and I know anyway. Mm. Just, just the, the, the path to the success or to the... Yeah, is what... They needed to do on their own. Mm. But you see, and here I'll go on the campaign for basketball. Mm. Now, basketball has the potential to rival that. And I, I say this without a convocation. Basketball, well, football is pure sports, I understand it. Mm. But basketball is not only a sport. In basketball, there is music. There's fashion, there's entertainment in basketball. So these four things are there in basketball. That maybe, maybe football, probably, football probably has it because of its, uh, its lead in sports. Mm. But I tell you, basketball is, is also a hip sport. Now, there are more people who are educated in basketball than football. I can, I can, I can tell you that for nothing. But there are more people who are educated oh, okay. in basketball than football. I, this is a hard fact. But that's not even the issue here. How do we get this to become yeah. popular and um, project Invest investors? Yes. Like I said, he has music, he has fashion, he has entertainment. And it's a hip game. It's, 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 the game is for young kids. It's for young kids. So we need to have a grand plan. How do we move all of this? Like I said, government has to remove its hands from basketball, from those clubs, from those clubs. But you see, the model of, of America is what I look at. Mm. And that's, that's the only way you can be alive to the thing, to the, the thing itself is by 
getting involved in it. Okay, let me ask. If, if an investor looks at, at basketball in Nigeria today, your league, and says, you know, there's potential here. I want to put in money here. But you see, I don't want clubs owned by, by governments. You know, we, we need to work with clubs owned by, by investors. Yes, investors yes. So that over a period of yes, time, yes. we assure that these, these clubs are going to be there. I'm happy with that. But would that work with the MBBF? Would, would, would that work with the clubs and, it, it and, will. and the local? It will. It will. It will. Because, it, you see, I was giving you an example. Mm. A commissioner comes in this year mm. and he loves basketball. So, okay, basketball gets the, uh, the funding for four years or for dependency of the man's uh, uh, term in office. Mm. When ma next man comes there, he loves badminton or he loves cricket. And the, in the interest in basketball immediately wins. wins. Yeah. That's the way it is. These are the, these are the issues that we, that we have to grapple with. It's the same thing with football as well. I don't think so because, see, like I said, like I said, you see, football has seed money mm. to develop its league. Basketball can have, but it has to be from a sponsor or an investor in the game. From personal experience or yeah. from what I know based on interactions with these guys. I, I do not think that right now there's a cover that goes into the Nigerian Premier Football League that's tied to FIFA in any way. My, my, so my the, point exactly. Yeah. So, so if there's an investor, so if an investor comes in mm. to basketball, then we can say, say, say look, these are the franchises mm. and I'm selling these franchises for X amount. Then the investor can dictate those things. All the NBF, all the group that runs that, the, the uh, league can agree, sit down to agree on, this, on, on these terms. You know, but at the end of each year, if I'm if the if the investor is saying, look, I'm going to put such amount in the league, then we're getting something back in return. Mm. Because let me tell you, the value of all of this is determined by the investor. Okay, so here's the thing, and here's what most investors sh you know shy Trans um, oh they want transparency transparency of course. I, uh, yeah. government interference yes policy flip-flops that's right and all of that you all, know but you see all of this are replete in our, I mean, replete in our society yeah right now but it, so if if somebody comes in is there is there anything that that um what's the word is there anything that protects an investor from a government coming in tomorrow and flipping the policy. Let me tell you this. A couple of years ago, there was the ABL mm. that was staged at Landmark. The ABL is what again? African Basketball League. Okay. Staged at Landmark. <laughs> now, because of the entertainment value of that event, I'm saying to you here that t shirts. Of over a million was sold every day we put the ball on the floor. Face caps of you know, 900,000 naira was sold every time we put the uh, uh, ball on the floor. A landmark hall. After the basketball has ended about maybe 9 o'clock, the events going on was we were there till 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. No, no, uh, you see, there's a popular... There are, there, are, there are clubs from all over America okay. who took part in the thing. This is what led to the BAL that we're having now. Oh. Trust me. Okay. So, thing is... Um, Everybody fought against if the, the, the event. If, anybody, if somebody is watching this program and is probably the head of an investment bank or you know, of, or a private equity fund. And he says, you know, I like what I'm hearing, you know, but I need to have something to work with. I need to have documentation. I need to know who's been there, who's there now, who, you know, who, what the plans are in the short, medium, and long term. You know, I need to have, a, you know, I need to know what I want to get involved in. Who delivers this document to the investor? We can deliver the document. But also, let me assure the investor mm. as it is going to be an independent, an independent 
uh, event mm. away from the NABF. Mm. And that's what, what the BAL did. It is totally independent from the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, local league itself. But they are working with uh, FIBA, aren't they? No, because see, the NABF is saddled with the job of putting together the national teams. That's part of what it is, I mean, its job uh, is to develop, uh, to put together the national team for competitions in and I mean, out of Nigeria. Also, to develop the local league. But see, but see, the, 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 but that space is modeled is modeled up. Yeah. Because first and foremost, the every state has a chairman mm. of basketball, and in the state there are local governments. So, the job of the state chairman chairman is to develop basketball in their states and the, and, and in the local governments. Because in any case, all athletes are owned by the states which brings me to a very you know um, a, an often uh, de debated subject in sports business in nigeria what do you sort out first do you sort out the grassroots or do you sort out um, a, a premium a premium or a premier platform for sports what drives what is it the grassroots development that leads to the premier platform or the premier platform drives grassroots development? Um, they can develop simultaneously. But if you had to do one, what would you do first? Um, now, it's usually the issue of is it the chicken before the egg. Because first, you see, when, when national athletes are representing the countries, mm. the local athletes want to take over, or want, uh, would, would love to be um those super athletes mm. so so the, so so it's it, it's 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 a tie-in it's symbolic it's it, it, it's a tie-in okay yes anyways finally let's talk about infrastructure and it's critical very critical you know um there are two things that, that i find critical one is infrastructure the other is what you mentioned when we we're off a culture the culture of basketball i find that you know, like when I was in university in the 80s, basketball was huge. I was in UI, they came, we, we hosted Nuga. And, you know, football was popular. People would go watch in the afternoon. But the basketball programs in the evening were the ones where you had to be seen with your girlfriend. You, you had to be seen to be having, it was, it it's was hip. hip. Yeah, it was it's hip. hip. It was really, yes. it was, you know. And then I went to serve in the North. And, and I got a shocker, you know, when I got to the North. And because I found that in Joss, how we come out to play football is the, in the evening is how they go out to play basketball in the evening. That's correct. They are completely different um, Culture. cultures. You know what I mean? So there's infrastructure. Do we have the culture? Because we can say that basketball is popular around Nigeria, even though with a certain demographic, but it's popular across the country. It's played across the country. True. Do we have the culture? And um, do, we have, do we have the infrastructure? The culture needs to be uh, heightened. Mm. Heightened in the sense that now the, 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 the coaches are the ones who will teach the young kids. Mm. So you can only give what you have. Mm. So the coaches only give what they have to these coaches, mm. to these uh, kids. So if their teaching is fractured from the beginning, that's how they grow. But are the young kids even enthusiastic about playing basketball? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let me tell you, all the kids, is it, it's, it's unlike many sports. Like for table tennis, you can put together two teams, put one uh, stick across mm -hmm. and play. But basketball is different. You must have a basketball. Mm. And, and there must be a basketball court. court yeah. So we need more basketball courts. We need more basketball courts. And that's whose responsibility? The government? The, the government. local government? Lo local the government, federal? state government. Yes, federal government. Okay. It is not the job of NABF to build courts. No, it's not. It is not. 
and is in this case where the government is thinking about sports as business have you guys made any any real any real pitch to the government to to try and you know uh, get a share of of the infrastructure fund ministry of sports they don't even have, they, the first thing they tell you is they don't even have enough money they never have money go and ask anybody now the job of the ministry is to fund the olympics world cup commonwealth and africa games we, all, we know all of that but the government is broke That's ah it. so so effectively or i mean ostensibly we're just paying lip service to sport development if the government needs to develop those things the, 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 those things and the, these things are broke because now like i said world cup olympics commonwealth africa games they fund up front they fund in front but there like, like i said there are different ways of qualifying for this event so at the qualifying stage they won't talk to you so how do you qualify when you're not even funded to, to go and play in the real game anyways um we've been talking to you to <laughs> look um it's been nice having you on, on the program thank you clearly this is not enough time you know so we have to do it bring you here let's do it again um i would i would i'll give you a minute to to tell the guy who's watching the program who thinks that maybe um basketball can be um a, a, a worthwhile investment you know you are you ready to welcome them or it will be investor i promise you there is enough space for you to develop basketball Basketball is a very, very popular game. It's a hip game. It's a youth, it's a very youth, uh, um, cent it's a very youth centric game. The, there is in it, there is, uh, there is fun, there is fashion, there is music, there is entertainment. And it's, the word, I mean, there is so much space to invest in basketball. So please, 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 come into basketball there is a lot of room for development there, there was a slide i wanted to put up earlier but um i don't know if the, if the produce if if the slide can come up is to show that basketball is one of the top 10 sports in the world right um the fiba says 450 million people are involved in playing basketball um yeah that's it and depending on what site you go to for source for information you can get um, between 850 million to 2.2 billion football fans uh, basketball. basketball in the world and then you know when you look at africa and you're looking at the the young people in africa we have a youth population in africa that's about one i mean people under 49 are about 1.2 uh, billion strong you know and if you look at the people in, in, in the urban centers, because basketball, if I was running basketball, I'd be looking to capture educated urban dwelling and, and middle class people. That's correct. And, and you're looking at somewhere in the region of 300 million plus Africans that you can fish from. Do you know? And that's not to talk about the Africans in the diaspora and then the global basketball audience. So basketball is big business. Global. What do you think the NBA is here? Yeah. Because, because Africa offers, Africa is a huge market. I, you know, the NBA is here. Yeah. The European leagues market to us. And, you know, they, I, I don't think there's this. Those areas are saturated. saturated. So the here is where yeah, the, the, the new market is. And unfortunately for us, I'm sorry, they all people outside of Africa see the potential yes. and are doing something about it, cleaning up where, what in the process. And we can't seem to do anything about it you know our potential but would like i said we have, we've run out of time we're going to do more talking i'm so happy that i'm so glad that you made it uh, to the studio this time around this time this you've always made it when i do so let it not be like you you but i'm happy that you, you made it here basketball has enormous potential in nigeria and it can rival football i personally believe that i personally love the without game a doubt basketball. without a doubt all my children play basketball you know what i mean so i think that um you know more investors should look at, at the game of basketball and to see how how um, to invest in the game so that we can make it a, a huge 
um, a huge economic success and as well as social cultural success. Now, we're going to go on a break, but after the break, joining us will be a young Nigerian who, who, is, um, who founded one of those Covenant University graduates who is uh, blazing the, thr the entrepreneurial trail. He's founded, he's found, founded a, pr uh, a company called Vixen Media and Vixen Virtual. Basically what, they do, what they're trying to do is to develop a video gaming app where you know, Nigerians and Africans and people around the world, football fans around the world, can actually play uh, games um, involving Nigerian club sides and Nigerian stars, the way you do with your FIFA and PES um, games. You know, so I'm going to bring on Mr. Victor Jedida, Jedidaya Dania, and he's going to talk to us about you know, um, what they're doing with, with uh, Vixen Virtual. We're going to take this short break now, and don't go away. There's more to come. Lovely one. Don't miss it. <laughs> 